To disassemble the pneumatech, we need to have a flathead screwdriver. The first step is we pull the blue clear tube off from the pneumatech. Need to use force and you can turn slightly clockwise. And the blue tube. Then you put it on the far end. We need to line up all these parts. Second step, unscrew the black pressure connector. They are the same if they are in good shape. Then we unscrew the small French port tube. Pull apart the heater shell. And uh, unscrew the large French port tube. Now we use a flathead screwdriver to remove the o-ring <coughs> from under. Do not use a fingernail because you will hit the screen. So remove the o-ring and you can flip it over. You will see three screens. Each screen has a lemon pin and a dot. So one dot, lemon pin and two dots, lemon pin and three dots. And then we need to clean the screens with Johnson and Johnson baby wash or some detergent that doesn't have moisturizer. Moisturizer will seal the screen and increase the resistance and that you don't have your flow care value anymore. After you finish cleaning it, we use white paper towel to absorb the water on the screen. And uh, after that, screen number one and the number two both has holes. It could have water in there, you need to blow out like that. So, next we are going to assemble it back. The <coughs> body of the pneumatech has an alignment slot and we look for screen number one that has an alignment pin. We put the pin inside the alignment slot and uh, if it doesn't work, flip it back and uh, we will try the second time. Then screen number two has an alignment pin. Put it inside the slot. And the screen number three, alignment pin inside the slot. Then we put the orange o-ring in place. At this time we double check the black holes on screen two and the screen one. You should see the black holes. Otherwise your screen sequence may be wrong. Next, we use a large French port tube. Look, large French pull tube to cover up that big open area. Tighten until you don't see the gap. Then put the heater shell in like a Lego. And uh, the small French port tube has to be kept there to keep the heater shell in place. Now, 
Next step is put the black connectors back in. Black connectors has a tiny silicone seal that has a protruding portion. This protruding portion is important. It will keep the pressure ports sealed and the pressure signal can come out. So first gently screw in until orange orange hit the surface then turn 90 degree and then the other black connectors again touch the orange o-ring turn about 90 degree now last step blue clear tube you need to make sure blue clear tube is not twisted so blue on number one so I have to flip this pneumatic the other way and the blue is with one and the clear is with two push it to the end and that's it and of course make sure it doesn't become loose.